Welcome back to the next in the series of training uh, videos for elders and deacons. Thanks for being faithful and uh, uh, watching these videos. I hope they're helpful to you. Uh, in this video, we are going to cover what in the Presbyterian Church is known as polity. Polity sounds like politics, and sometimes politics can play a part in the church just as it can anywhere else where people are involved, but that's not what polity means. Polity has to do with the way we govern ourselves. If you watch Presbyterians work together, you'll see us hold a lot of meetings, you'll hear lots of talk, and we'll share many prayers. But after the meeting and the talk and the prayer, we vote. And we vote on just about everything. Polity is really just a common sense way of helping us move in an orderly means through group process to come to some kind of ultimate decision. You've probably heard the old line about Presbyterians doing things decently and in order. Well, polity is our orderly process of getting things done, coming to a decision, enabling those with a minority view to share their opinions, but in the end, uh, having the majority uh, rule in those decisions. Now, at the basis of our polity, we believe that all the authority of the church comes from Jesus Christ. Jesus has given us that authority, and it is given to the people of God as a community. Such an important concept in Presbyterianism. We have an innate distrust of individuals who claim to have God's word and God's authority without their claim being checked out by the rest of the church. No one person has the power to govern the church in our polity, in our system of government. Rather, groups of people make decisions together on every level. First of all, we believe that for a single church or for the whole church, a group of people is more likely to find the will of God than any individual. It is a basic part of Presbyterianism that we acknowledge our sinfulness and our imperfection, and we struggle together to find God's will, and uh, we believe that when the majority comes to an agreement, there is a greater likelihood, not a perfect a perfect likelihood. It's not always sure and certain, and we certainly do make our mistakes. But when a group of people come to an agreement in regards to the will of God, that has a higher probability of being God's will or closer to God's will than any individual. Church officers are not ordained just to lead their church, but are ordained to the whole larger church, so that ordination is on behalf of every Presbyterian in the country. Whether you are being ordained or have been ordained as an elder or a deacon, if you were to move away from here and join another Presbyterian church, they would acknowledge you as being an elder or a deacon, an ordained elder or deacon. Whether or not you were elected to serve on the session or diaconate is immaterial. When we ordain you as an elder or a deacon, that ordination is for your life and in every Presbyterian church that you might be a member of. And for you elders, you can participate and vote with the same authority as a minister at any level of church government. And elders are eligible to be elected to any church office. You, as an elder, can be elected the moderator at any level of the church all the way to the General Assembly. And we'll talk about the General Assembly in more detail in just a few minutes. But you, as an elder, have the authority to participate on committees, of Presbytery, Senate, General Assembly level, and you have the authority uh, to and eligibility to be elected to any church office. One of the primary and most basic words in our Presbyterian polity is connectionalism. We are not a um, congregational form of government in which the local congregation has the last say 
on everything, nor are we an Episcopal form of government. The word Episcopal is uh, Latin, and it means bishop, and it doesn't just refer to the Episcopal Church, but any denomination that is governed at some level by an individual, a bishop of some sort, whether it's called that or not, one individual who has the final say. Presbyterianism doesn't have, it's not, we're not congregational. Our congregation is not independent, but we also do not have one individual at any level of church government in final say and authority. So we are a connected church. We believe very strongly that each congregation is part of the greater church and is subject to the authority of the governing body directly above it. We'll talk more about that in a minute. We are not independent congregations, and we are subject to the authority of the governing body directly above us. Now let's talk about those governing bodies. In the Presbyterian Church, there are four levels of governing body. At the local level, in the local church, the governing body that rules the church, governs the church, is the session made up of the elders who have been elected to serve on the session. In our church, our session has 30 members, 10 in each class. You serve a three-year term. At the local level, there is the session, and the session rules and governs the church. There are only a few things that ministers have the final say over, and they all have to do with worship and preaching. Everything else is under the authority of the session. And uh, when you uh, put a number of congregations together, you have a presbytery. And the presbytery is made up of elders and ministers from each of the, the churches in that presbytery. We'll talk about our presbytery in a minute, but a presbytery is a regional association of Presbyterian churches. At the next level is the synod. The synod is a collection of presbyteries and then the fourth level, the highest level, is the General Assembly. This is the ruling body of the entire Presbyterian Church USA. Now let's talk a little bit about each of those levels. First of all, you have the session, which governs our session, governs the First Presbyterian Church of High Point, a little screenshot of our website in case you haven't seen it lately. We belong to Salem Presbytery. Salem Presbytery uh, includes all of the Presbyterian churches from uh, Mebon in the east, all, almost to Durham. Durham is not in our Presbytery, but just this side of Durham. From Mebon over to uh, Blowing Rock and the, the churches of Boone and so forth, to uh, north to the Virginia border, and then south uh, down to Salisbury. We don't uh, go all the way to uh, Charlotte, but almost to Charlotte. That is our presbytery. There are about 150 churches in our presbytery. The presbytery meets four times a year, and each church sends a number of elders and ministers to those meetings, and the presbytery oversees the work of the churches, approves uh, the uh, calling of pastors to those churches and the dissolution of those relationships when ministers leave for one reason or another. If there are problems between a congregation and a minister, the presbytery is the body that uh, sends in a group of people to try to resolve those problems. So the presbytery oversees the work of the churches in that region. But remember that uh, the presbytery is the churches. Representatives, commissioners from the churches come to uh, meet and make those decisions. Our presbytery, along with other presbyteries in the central Atlantic region, is a part of the Synod of the Mid-Atlantic. The Synod offices are in Richmond, Virginia, and uh, they, they cover the presbyteries along the uh, mid-Atlantic region up to uh, about New Jersey, from uh, North Carolina to New Jersey. And uh, they meet once a year. Uh, they have uh, elders and ministers who are commissioned to go to those meetings, and they oversee the work of the presbyteries. And then, of course, at the highest level is the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church USA. This is the governing body of the entire denomination. It meets every other year in the summertime, 
and is made up of representatives from each presbytery, elders and ministers from each presbytery gather. So at every level, there is an equal number of elders and ministers, except at the local level, and the session uh, has more elders, obviously, than ministers. But at every other level, the voting is done by an equal number of elders and ministers. Uh, In that way, we seek to uh, keep that idea of connectionalism and seeking God's will together, but we govern ourselves as we seek to find God's will for the church.